Hey, what's up guys? Back with another video. And today we're talking about do you need to plug in a four pin and an eight pin into a motherboard for it to work properly? Some motherboards have an eight pin and a four pin. And do you need to actually do it? Short sure answer, nope, you don't need to. Um, but it depends if you are overclocking or if you have newer CPUs like the 11th gen i5, i7, or i9, you're gonna want to have a, you're gonna wanna have all of the pins populated. So if we take a look um, at how much one eight pin connector, all the places I've seen on the internet, one eight pin pulls 150 watts. And so that's, so that's two four pins plugged into the motherboard for your CPU. And then below we have this chart here. So we have the 5900X 133 watts, the 3950X 135 watts, and then we have the 5950X at 140, 141. And if you have precision boost overdrive on, it's 158 for the 5900X. So you can see if you're running a 10700K, you're fine. But uh, if you're going to be running a 10900K, then you're going to be you're going to want to have you're going to want to have the eight pin and the four pin. The four pin can probably pull an extra 50 watts. On some motherboards, there's also more than just an eight pin and a four pin. It's two eight pins, so then you could pull 300 watts. And then you would be able to actually achieve this Core i9 overclock, which is pulling 285 watts on the CPU. Um, and then, yeah, this is another graph with power consumption. And we see like all the Ryzen CPUs, if they're all running stock, uh, the 5800 here, 5800X here is in precision boost overdrive. It's pulling 120 watts. But pretty much if you're running a stock Ryzen CPU, you can only you only need to run the eight pin you only need to run two four pins and you can just leave that last four pin out of there but it really depends on like what your what your system is if you're running a living 600k then yeah you're going to need to have two four pin you're going to need the eight pin and and a four pin so you're going to need yeah the eight pin populated and a four pin on your motherboard to be able to power enough because it, even if you use, let's say a Molex adapter, you can probably get 54 watts from the Molex adapter and then you get 150 watts from the, the normal eight pin. So you'd be at around 204 watts. So that would let you power a Core i5 11600K. It'd let you overclock it to five gigahertz. Um, pulling 189 watts and it would let you power a core i9 10900k so here this is what i'm talking about um so you have so you have the the two four pin connectors so if you have an older power supply or you have a lower end power supply you might just have two four pins which makes it an eight pin for the cpu connector uh, if you need to add in an extra eight pin or you need to add in an extra four pin, you can get a Molex to eight pin adapter, and that would actually let you get up to, into the 200 watt range. I would probably say get a better power supply that comes with two CPU uh, headers. There are some power supplies that actually do come with uh, two CPU headers, so it's gonna come with two eight pin connectors for your CPU. And I would probably recommend that as the best solution. But if you're looking for a budget way, then just get the get this Molex adapter and it'll give you eight extra pins for your motherboard. So this is the motherboard I have. Um, I have a 5600X on an MSI MPG Gaming Plus X570 board. And it comes with an eight pin. And then it also comes with an extra four pin and I was just really curious to see um, if it would work. And it does work on my motherboard with my 5600X. The 5600X, if we go back here, 
it's only pulling 69 watts at load and two, and the eight pin the eight pin will pull 150 watts so i'm way below the threshold so it all depends on your motherboard on my motherboard it works on other motherboards it might not work so i just wanted to make this short video for you guys um have some have some of my sources i'll put them in the video um but yeah if you're one last quick thing if you're doing if you have an 11900k with adaptive boost on it'll go to 206 watts you probably want to have enough wattage for that um, so you might want to get this this Molex adapter if your power supply doesn't work but this power this Molex adapter might not work for every CPU it might not provide enough power so in that case it might be safer to get a better CPU but yeah I also have an Amazon affiliate link that I will put in the video if you use it I'll get a small commission and it helps support the channel um, that's it for this one guys and thank you all right bye